guys welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about nested for loops in C programming a nested loop is nothing but a loop is placed inside the body of another loop here this is the simple syntax of using a nested for loop in C programming here this is the outer loop and you can see that another for loop is placed within the brackets or body of the outer loop this type of an arrangement is called a nested loop okay i will explain the working of this nested for loop in c programming with a complete working example you can understand it with an example so here i am going to print out this pattern using nested for loops in c programming okay i want to print this pattern using a c programming so here we need a nested for loop because here uh, for printing this pattern we have to work with rows and columns this is the uh, zero to row this one is first row this one is second row and like that okay so you can see here the syntax here the logic is very simple for the zero to row we need to print one star for the first row we need to print two star for the second row for the second row we need to print three star that is the syntax behind this pattern okay so here is the syntax if r is the row and c is the columns so if r represent the first for loop that means the outer loop and C is representing in the second for loop that means the inner loop so C is always 1 greater than R that is the logic behind this ok we will try this in a program so I start the first for loop ok and we need another for loop with, which is an inner loop uh, this loop represents rows and this represents columns ok for so printing that pattern the outer loop represents the number of rows and the inner loop represents the number of columns ok so we need two variables here so I declare two variables i and j I declare that two variables of integer type i and j so here for the outer loop I initialize the first variable i equal to 0 that means we count the rows from zeros count the row from 0 and I put the condition I how to I want to print 5 rows so the condition is i less than 5 because it count from 0 so we got uh, here we got 5 rows that I put the condition i less than 5 and I need to update the value of 5 ok this is the conditions of this is the uh, condition for row now we have to go to columns so for printing this pattern for printing uh, this pattern on the 0 to row we need one column one star and on the first row we need two star that is the condition so I start the variable j equal to i plus one that is the condition that is the initialization the value of j is always one greater than i that means the number of stars available in each row is one greater than the number of that row okay and here I put the condition j greater than 0 and I provide the updation j minus minus ok now we can print the star using a printf function printf we need some spaces between each star so I put the escape sequence slash t slash t represent a tab it will print out a tab and print the star okay so this loop represent a row 
in our program in our program so here if it is the zero to row here the condition is j equal to i plus one that means zero plus one the value of j is one so it to check the condition one greater than zero it is okay okay now come to this now go to the body of the loop and print one star again j zero j minus minus that means j becomes zero and check this condition so it is false now go to the outer loop and here it increment the value of i by 1 that means now the value of i into 1 again come to this loop now check j equal to 1 plus 1 now j is 2 and check the condition okay that condition is again okay now come to this statement and print a star now come to the this statement and uh, decrement the value of j by 1 that means j is 1 now now the condition is check 1 less greater than 0 condition is ok now print another star on the same line ok now again go to this update statement now j becomes 0 so it checked 0 greater than 0 now condition is false again exit the inner loop now come to the updation of the outer loop now i become 3 this will continues until the value of i is 5 ok so after printing each row we need a new line here uh, after each row we need a new line so we have to put a slash in here after this loop so print off slash in this will print a new line after each row so we complete the program I save the program compile it compilation success run it we got the output here we got the star patterns on the zeroth row we got one star on the first row we got two star at the last cost the last row uh, we got five star okay guys this is the working of uh, inner for loop nested for loops in C programming uh, this type of arrangement of loops is very useful whenever you are working with metrics that contain rows and columns for performing matrix addition uh, you can try matrix addition matrix multiplication etc using this type of loop arrangement okay i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you in the next part